Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News. Uh, it is episode 28. And today, um, I'm going to create this video because at my blog at bjtechnews.wordpress.com, uh, right here, um, I've been getting hit real hard with this blog right here How to Solve Your Profile Cannot Be Open Correctly issue in Chrome. Most likely, you're receiving this dialog box right here. And I received this dialog box not too long ago. That's why I posted it up and I posted up the solution for it because it worked out for me and hopefully it worked out for you guys. So um, I decided to create a, um, a video. It's best to watch it rather than reading it. A lot of people don't like reading. They just go right straight to the solution and just do the solution and that's it. So I'm creating a video for it. So to solve this problem one way that works out automatically is to find this location find the web data file which stores all the information like your your history your cookies your passwords all that stuff most that normally that file gets corrupted so the best thing is to rebuild it and to rebuild it that means you have to delete it and start all over if not, you're going to constantly get this dialog box every time you start Chrome. So, the location of this stuff is actually hidden. So, the app data folder is actually hidden. So, if you go to start, computer, C drive, uh, user, the user that's logged into the machine, that's where the corruption is at. Um, do a forward slash app data. App data is hidden. You want to go to a local folder. Google, Chrome, user data, default. And at the very bottom, you're going to find these two files. Best practice, you only have to delete this, but if you want, you can actually delete the web data and web data journey. Okay? Once you delete this, you basically, you know, make sure Chrome is closed. Right? As you can see, when I close when I close it, something happened around here so the default folder that's where all the magic happens within Chrome so if you delete these two right now like I'm gonna delete them I delete them now when I deleted them when I was having the issue I was having a lot of problems because for some reason Chrome was still running inside task manager and I had a lot of a lot of instances running so I actually had to restart the machine to flush everything out and then I was able to delete it okay um, I just fairly install Chrome so I, I didn't have too many problems so now when you start Chrome up when you start Chrome up if these two files are recreated and that's about it um, the other approach is basically changing this name right here like changing the name to like dot old recreate the default folder and then one by one drag and drop stuff inside the default folder and then start Chrome to see if the dialog box pops up. If for for some from you know for that for some reason you get up to like here and the dialog box pops up, okay, that file is corrupt. So you could delete it, drag and drop everything else on the new de default folder and you're good to go rather than deleting the web data. But for in my case, I went straight to the web data and I deleted that and I restarted Chrome and Chrome worked with no problem. That's about it guys. Uh, hopefully you guys subscribe to my channel, uh, support, show some love. Also check out my blog at bjtechnews.wordpress.com. Also follow me at Twitter at bjtechnews and I catch you guys later. Thank you.